Hi, my name is David, and what if I told you I could make you fall in love with a tool that every welder in the world hates? I can make you fall in love with a process that every TIG welder in the world must do every time they TIG weld, but it's a process that nobody looks forward to because it's kind of a pain to deal with. Well, the process I'm referring to is tungsten grinding, and the tool I'm talking about is a tungsten grinder. Well, I think it's about time I introduce you to my creation, the TIG stick. The TIG stick is by far the greatest handheld tungsten grinder that has ever been created. The TIG stick is small, lightweight, compact, assembled in the USA, extremely affordable, and it does everything you could possibly want a tungsten grinder to do for you. And as you're about to find out, it does those things really, really well. With the TIG stick, you can cut any size tungsten you want at any angle you want. And to change those parameters, you don't have to use any tools whatsoever except your fingers, just the push of a button and the turn of a thumb screw. So let's go out into the shop. I'll give you a brief demonstration on how to use the TIG stick, show you why it's so great, what exactly it can do for you, how it does those things. And I promise you, you're about to see the most beautiful, perfectly sharpened piece of tungsten you've ever seen in your life. The TIG stick belongs on the bench of every single TIG welder in the world, and I'm about to show you why. Let's go check it out. So what are the two primary things a tungsten grinder should be able to do for you? The first thing is that you should be able to cut your tungsten at any angle you want, and you should be able to vary that cut angle without having to use any external tools to swap out any collets or tool holders. With the TIG stick, changing the cut angle is easy. All you need to do is loosen this thumb screw and select one of six predetermined cut angles to lock into. We have a 15 degree, a 30 degree, a 45, a 60, a 75, and 90 degree angle. Once you select the angle, just tighten down the thumb screw and your quadrant is now firmly locked in place. The second thing you should be able to do with this tool is cut any size tungsten you could want. And again, it shouldn't require any external tools to hold different size tungstens. With the TIG stick, all you need to do is press the spring-loaded button to open up the V-clamp, slide in your tungsten, then let go of the button. The spring tension will supply sufficient tension on whichever tungsten diameter you're working with to firmly hold it in place. Before we grind this tungsten rod to a precise point, I'd like to share a couple tips about how to use the tool properly to get a perfect cut every time. From this top-down view, we can see that our diamond-coated grinding disc is spinning counterclockwise. This disc has an extremely long tool life and cuts tungsten like butter. However, you need to be careful with it. It is effectively pulling the tungsten away from the holding clamp and into the tool while grinding. That being said, there is one rule you need to follow while using the TIG stick. Never let go of the tungsten while it is in contact with the grinding wheel as it could get sucked into the tool. So, what's the best way to hold and operate the TIG stick while using it? One of my favorite ways to hold this tool involves grabbing the tool head like this with my left hand to firmly hold things steady. Then I brace my right hand against the tool head like this while holding the tungsten rod between my index finger and thumb. This allows me to spin the tungsten while feeding it in and out of contact with the diamond grinding disc. It's a simple kneading motion that works really well for me. This hold is also convenient as the dust evacuation hole in the bottom of the unit is facing away from you. So the grinding dust ends up neatly spewed out onto the bench or in a trash can if you've got one nearby. There are a couple other ways to hold this tool as well. Just remember to never let go of the tungsten while it's in contact with the grinding wheel. Now for the exciting part. Let's turn the machine on and see how well it cuts this tungsten. And in just a matter of moments, our tungsten is sharpened perfectly and ready to weld again. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this thing works great, David, but you're using your bare hands. Can I use this tool without taking my welding gloves off? The answer is yes, absolutely. Here we are stacking some dimes on a very important piece of scrap steel and oops, looks like we dipped our tungsten into the puddle and contaminated our tip. Not to worry though, the TIG stick is within reach and ready to go into action. Because of our 3D printed aluminum V-clamp mechanism, you don't even need to cool the tungsten down before clamping it in place. Without even having to get out of my chair, I have this tungsten sharpened and ready to go back into use in a matter of seconds. And just like that, we are ready to weld again. 
Now that was a very mild dip. So let's get this tip looking really ugly with a blob on the end and see what the TIG stick can handle. If you end up with a really nasty blob that is larger than the outside diameter of your tungsten, I recommend rough grinding the blob somewhat round like this before putting it in the V-clamp to speed up the process. As expected, the high-speed diamond wheel cuts through that tungsten like butter and makes quick work of that nasty blob. Even in a worst case scenario like this one, the TIG stick has us back to work in no time. The TIG stick should be on the bench of every TIG welder in the world. This game-changing tool is compact, lightweight, versatile, affordable, and it cuts through tungsten like butter. With the TIG stick in your arsenal, you'll be taking your welding to the next level by streamlining your workflow and actually making tungsten grinding an enjoyable part of the process. So do yourself a favor, head on over to LarsonMasterworks.com and order yourself a TIG stick today. My name is David Larson. Thanks for watching.